Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to a Rotary Craft tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about two interesting utility blocks in Rotary Craft, the item filter and the chunk loader. Uh, now the chunk loader, you may have seen in a previous video that I was using it, however it wasn't actually working, because I wasn't giving it enough power, I, I realized. Uh, we're going to take a look at both of these, how to craft them, and what they're for. Starting with the chunk loader because it's the uh, simpler of, of the two devices. Now, you craft the chunk loader using a Bedrock 16X gear unit, two base panels, two steel ingots, two Bedrock shaft units, and two nether stars. So, it's definitely a high-end item here. Um, the nether stars especially, but the Bedrock, uh, you, it's obvious why you need that. Uh, when we take a look at how much power the thing needs. As for the item filter, you uh, you craft that with three circuit boards, a redstone dust, two base panels, a screen, and two HSLA steel ingots. Now, uh, over here I've got the chunk loader set up. Uh, it takes power in through the bottom, uh, so you get bevel gear here. And I've got the, uh, the dynamometer and my industrial coil. I've already set it for the right amount of power, so let's flick it on and see what happens. Whee! So, <laughs> you'll know it's working uh, when you've got these awesome little nether star and ender pearl particle effects flying up in the air. Now, it's kind of funny that it has these ender pearl particles when it doesn't actually use ender pearls in its construction, but whatever. Now, the amount of power that it requires is 2.097 uh, megawatts minimum. However, it needs that in it needs all of that in speed, so you have to give this thing uh, <laughs> two million ninety-seven thousand one hundred and fifty-two radians per second, and that can be at an output torque of one. Okay, that's how much speed it requires. Uh, now the good news about that is that that is the output of a micro turbine. If we look at the micro turbine, we can see it has a power output of 2.097 megawatts. If you take a micro turbine and uh, attach it to a 16x gearbox uh, in speed mode, that will be enough to supply the uh, chunk loader, all right, or the equivalent amount of power. But the minimum has to be 2,097,152 radians per second. Any less than that, oh crap. <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay, there we go. It came back. So if that was a one right there, it wouldn't work. So that's it. The output of a micro turbine, put it through a 16x gearbox in speed mode, that will power you a chunk loader. And this keeps the chunks loaded. I'm not exactly sure in how big of a radius, but it's not got any GUI. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. So I highly recommend placing one of these uh, in the same chunk as your uh, reactors from reactor craft. Highly recommended to put a chunk loader there. So you can use one from other mods or you can use the one from rotary craft. But definitely have a chunk loader near your reactors. Now, we can turn that off because we don't need to load the chunks anyway. And I've got the item filter set up over here. Now, the item filter is a bit interesting. It does take power. It only takes the minimum amount. Uh, so 1024 uh, watts. So a DC motor or whatever will run it. I've currently got this at 512.2, although I think that a DC, that a DC motor is, uh, what? Is it 2564? I don't know. Um, but that's all you need, DC electric motor, uh, to run this item filter. Now, the item filter is uh, an interesting uh, device. You take any item, like I could take the chunk loader, and I could stick it in there, and what it's going to tell me is it's got some information about the item. It's going to give me the item ID, which is which could be useful by itself. Getting the item ID of blocks and items and stuff could be very useful. Uh, it's got some metadata. It shows uh, a mod ID, so what mod it's in. Uh, NBT data and or dictionary data. And there's another page, but not for this one. If we stick like a silver ingot in there, 
you can see it's got the item ID for Rotary Craft. This is a Rotary Craft Silver Ingot. It's got metadata. It's got the mod ID. It's got MBT. It's got the ore dict. And if you go to the next page for this, it's got ingot silver uh, match. If I take this aluminum ingot and stick it in here, you can see it's got more. It's got ingot aluminum. It's got ingot natural aluminum and ingot alumini aluminum. So this appears to be the ore dictionary uh, data um, for these uh, for these for these ingots. So if we go back to basic here and grab an iron ingot and we stick an iron ingot in here, for example, uh, you're gonna get Minecraft iron ingot. You're gonna get no metadata. You're gonna get zero uh, uh, ingot iron. So what this is doing is it's going through and it's looking up all the information about whatever item that you put into it. So this, for example, this mini core latex bucket has some information, no, no or dictionary stuff. Um, so this could be useful. Um, I'm not 100% sure what you would do with it. Uh, we can go down into this tab for mod ores from Rotary Craft and we can see there's a lot of, uh, like this osmium ingot right here. And uh, we can stick that in there. You can take a look at that, ingot osmium match. And what you can do is you can check these off. You can check it to be a mismatch. You can check it to ignore. And I don't actually know if this changes it, uh, actually changes it in the game or not. So if it does, then what you could do is take an aluminum ingot, which has multiple or dictionary values. And if that's what this is doing, you could actually, uh, turn one off, tell it to ignore it, which is interesting. Now, I don't know why there's an output slot at the bottom, because you can only take and put stuff in the top slot, unless there's like an upgrade you can stick in there. But that's the item filter. See, I, somebody, one of you guys watching this who knows more about this uh, or dictionary and mod things, you probably know what this is about more than I do. So let us know in the comments. But it does appear that it's giving, it's providing you with the ore dictionary data. So this aluminum, this aluminum ingot would be usable, uh, would be interchangeable with any ingot that has, uh, you know, the, these uh, bits here: ingot natural, ingot aluminium, ingot aluminum. And because we put U on it, we can see all the various uh, recipes that it can be used in uh, the aluminum ingot outside of. Uh, outside of rotary craft because it's an aluminum ingot um so yeah that's kind of interesting i'm not really sure what you would do with the item filter so uh if you've got any if you know what this is all about and you've got uh and you know what you would use this for uh definitely let me know that's the item filter it gives you information about the items and apparently lets you uh disable various uh things about it quite interesting um, now I know that this video isn't really about extremely useful things, um, but I haven't had a ton of time to do any research. That's one of the problems of doing this, is that it's been pretty busy here recently, so I haven't had time to research anything that's different or new. So let me know in the comments what you want me to talk about. If you know something that's been changed since I talked about it last, and uh, it's confusing you, or it's not working the way it did before, uh, leave me a comment so that I can get around to talking about it. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So uh, stay tuned for future episodes. Uh, uh, don't forget to uh, please go, if you haven't, uh, check out our Discord. Uh, links in the description to join. It's going to be fun. I, 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 I've been planning, I'm, I'm thinking about doing some an interesting little fun thing at some point uh, involving the Discord. So uh, definitely check it out. And uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to be if you want to get Twitter notifications when I upload new videos, so that you don't you're not at the mercy of the YouTube sub box. Uh, otherwise, you can click that little bell icon and to get email notifications. So uh, I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out. Mm -hmm.